All right, guys, and welcome to another episode of the Lure Challenge. Uh, today's lure we are going to be reviewing is the Fox Rage Shallow Replicant. Um, I thought I'd done this already, but I haven't, so I'm going to do it now. Um, this is the 23 centimeter version, so the bigger of the two sizes. I think the other one's 18 centimeters. Man, these fox packets are hard to get into. <laughs> um, boom, there we go. That's a nice looking lure right there. It smells like dinosaurs, like toy dinosaurs. <laughs> there we go. Fox Rage Shallow Replicant Pike Pattern Which, you know, it's like a go-to pattern for me when I'm choosing lures um, It's not the supernatural, they do like a supernatural range and then like a non-natural range I kind of prefer this non-natural looking one um, So yeah, going with that um, Never really used the old replicants because I don't really like weighted lures um, so yeah, we're excited for these to come out. They've been out for probably over a year now, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we'll give it a go. Same sort of format. Go fishing for about two hours. Um, see if we catch any fish. And then we'll be back and I'll let you guys know what I think of this bait. So, yeah. Hope you enjoy the fishing footage. mark right there oh and the tail so yeah I just got the tail in its mouth so might come back for it Feels like a decent fish though. First cast in this peg. Oh, it's kiting like a nice fish. Oh, no, it's not big. Nailed that bait though. <laughs> felt like a nice fish with the way it were kiting but it just absolutely hammered that lure <laughs> get my pliers out for this oh yeah he's got that back treble well in properly wanted that lure then but first fish small guy but I'll take it took about 15 minutes I think that so that is not bad at all. And away he goes. Oh, I have stood in dog crap as well. Thought I could smell it. 
first fish there then that release rig working perfectly because he had both hooks in his mouth that bait was swinging through three then so that's sick nice hit as well get this rig back up get cast back out it's one hit one hit and one fish in 20 minutes so I cannot complain at that Out of water. I didn't even see it follow then. Definitely a fish bump it then. It's not followed back. Scared the shit out of me there. It was a nice hit. <laughs> Gee. Hit it hard, but just pushed the bait away, didn't get it in its mouth at all, so no chance of hooking that up then. That hit it like in the middle of its body there man. So yeah. just the uh, little jacks but still be nice to hook them up. And that's about four hits I've had now and only one fish so My legs getting wet. Popped my bottle. Yeah. Nice puddle in there. Bloody hell. Let's hope my camera's not wet. Seems alright. Man, that's annoying.
All right, guys. So as you saw, not actually a bad session. Um, I've not watched the footage back, and I can't really remember what I caught. But I know I caught one fish. I think I had five hits and two follows. So yeah, not bad at all. Um, I would have liked to have got some of those hits converted into fish, but you know, big bait like this. It's going to be hard because, you know, most of the fish in that water, particularly Ajax, you know, sort of two to five pound range. So getting something like this in the mouth is going to be difficult. But yeah, quite impressed with this. Um, it's got really slow action with the tail. It's got big, wide, big, wide wobbles, you know, send off a lot of vibration. Um, lots of shads, paddle tails. Um, I'll have a really fast wobble, but this is a lot slower. Um, a lot slower, a lot wider. Um, it's got quite a, quite a tight roll to the body, um, rather than a big roll that you'd expect with such a big tail. But yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a very tight action. Um, it's very shallow. I know it's the, it is the shallow rep, so that's what you expect, but we're talking... Um, Slow retrieve, like a very slow retrieve, you'll be fishing at about two foot of depth. Um, a lot faster, one foot. And if you fish it fast, it's a wake, you can wake it. So if you want to fish it as a wake bait, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, it works best slow rolled. Um, just a slow retrieve, this is what works best for this. Um, but yeah, had all I had hits in the edge, out in open water, had hits on the paws. Um, so, yeah, that's awesome. Um, as you'll be able to see, it focuses, quite a lot of damage to the bait. Um, not like substantial damage that's going to affect it, but yeah, nice amount of cuts. Even though the, uh, the fish weren't hooking up. Nice big one on its head there. Even though the fish weren't hooking up on this uh, lure, you know, they're still hitting it hard. But obviously, the smaller pike, you know, if they're hitting it like this or they're hitting the tail, I were missing them. So that were annoying. But I, I reckon if I had the 18 centimeter size, I would have hooked those fish. I think that's purely missed those fish due to the size of the fish compared to the size of the bait. Um, but saying that the hook placement if you can see the hooks both are quite close together what i'd prefer is swap the place of the weight with the place of this hook right here so the weight's more central and the hook you've got the hooks a bit further apart so if you're getting something hitting near the head you've got a better chance of hooking it same as if you're getting a tail hit and obviously a body hit it's gonna it's gonna hit both of those trebles so that's something that I would personally prefer um, because on a pause it goes head down and you know a lot of people like that but I prefer a pause, a suspend and then a fall. I find you get a lot of hits, pause, that flat suspend there that's when you'll get your hits a lot of the time. You know you see a follow, rip it, one fast wind pause that suspend they're gonna hit it there um so yeah if, if if it were up to me i'd put that weight where this uh front treble is put the front treble where that weight is um but yeah the rig released nice when i caught that fish you saw the fish absolutely hammered it it had both trebles in its mouth down the the bait was away uh so that fish barely damaged the bait at all um so that's nice, release rig, you know, your bait will get saved a lot more. And this plastic's really nice and durable. Um, it seems, it, yeah, I mean, I'm sure it is normal like Plastisol, but it seems a lot more durable than some other pl soft plastics. Like, you know, you can, you can put, put a lot of pressure on it and it won't tear in half. So that's good, nice and strong for a soft plastic. It will survive a few fish, you know, I had five hits on it, and it's still good. The uh, 
the paint's nice. They do do the natural ones, but I wanted something not bright, not bright bright, but bright enough to be seen because I've been I am fishing sort of dusk, so I don't want something too dark, too natural. I want something that'll stand out in the water. So I went for this pipe pattern one, which is really nice. Um, but yeah. Well, I'll go through some complaints about this lure. Like I said, the, I think the hooks are a little close together. Um, I'd much rather the front hook be further far forward and the weight further back. Um, you know, another thing is the tail uh, gets hooked on the back treble quite a lot. But that's something that happens with every shad, so it's not really something to complain about. Um, I think you can actually take the, I've not tried this actually, but I think you can take the corkscrew out if you wanted to maybe put, oh yeah you can look. So you can take the corkscrew out, now you've got a loose body shad, so if you want to fit a 20 gram corkscrew head, a 10 gram corkscrew head, it doesn't have to be a shallow replicant. You can simply take that shallow screw off at the split ring and fit, you know, fit a weighted corkscrew like this and you, it's not a shallow rep you can make it into whatever depth fishing rep you want so that's cool you know rigged and ready um, I think a cool idea for these lures though would be if uh, Fox made the rigs um, like this one's 8 gram with the, the weight on there if they made a few different weights of these you know this make an 8 gram one a 15, a 20, a 30 gram and you can use the same, you know, same principle, but you can fit, fish a ton of different depth. All you got to do is take the rig off, re-rig it. So that'd be a nice idea if Fox started selling these rigs, because I do like these rigs they come with. I think the uh, the wire could do with being a little thicker, um, but they do seem solidly built. And the hardware seems decent, you know, the split rings seem nice, the hooks are nice. I mean, Fox does have a little bit of a reputation for making poor, poor quality stuff, but um, yeah, this seems quality. I mean, for the price, this is, this is a 9 inch swim bait, rigged, and it's £9.99 UK. Uh, which is a really good price you know a lot of brands are charged like 15 20 pounds for something like this so you know the price points there it works it swims nice um and yeah that's awesome i do like this bait i reckon like i say i think if i had the smaller size because they do the 23 they do the 18. if i had the 18 i would have caught those fish that hit it but you know i went for the big size i like to buy the big baits so yeah, for a different water. I mean, personally, I think this bait will excel in shallow water when it's cold. Fish it really, really slow, but keep it shallow. Uh, you're not going to have to worry about it hitting the bottom, but you can keep it in that strike zone longer for those lethargic fish that aren't going to be willing to chase after a fast bait. So, yeah, I think I'll be using this quite a bit when through winter and... Uh, early spring or through winter and late autumn should I say um, but yeah only problems I'd say is hooks are a little close together and it does get tangled up sometimes but other than that all sounds so I, I would recommend this bait I'll give it an 8 out of 10 um, and yeah I am happy with it you know missed some fish but I did catch one and it got a ton of attention. I mean, say, eight fish, I think. Eight different fish in a two hour session were interested in this bait. So that is a good, on that particular water, I mean, I know some waters you can probably catch 20 fish in that time, but on that water, I sort of average three interested fish in two hours. So eight is, is above average for that, so. Yes, recommend this bait, £9.99, it'll cost you for the 23 uh, centimetre version. 
and that's all I can say really. Shallow, shallow if you're fishing shallow water or you want to fish high up in the water, slow, I recommend this bait for you. If you want to fish fast, no, but slow fishing, awesome. So yeah, 8 out of 10. Knock a couple of points off because you can't really fish it too fast. Um, and the hooks are a bit close together and it tangles. But, you know, 8 out of 10's a good score. Um, that'll about do it. So, hope you've enjoyed this review. Hope it's been helpful. And if you've got any suggestions, let me know in the comment box. And I'll try try do some suggested reviews. Um, but yeah, that'll about do it for this one. That's the Fox Rage Shallow Replicant. And I will catch you guys next time.